Caden with Urban Finance. This is gonna be a quick video. I just wanted to give a quick update on a stock that I reviewed or recommended on this channel on July 24th, Golden Nugget. It was trading around $12 at the time. Today, Golden Nugget is up 50%. And so I'll be speaking about exactly when I think you should sell this particular stock. And I'll leave a link at the end of the description and in the cards up here for you to find out exactly why I recommended the stock. So I go through a lot of the technical analysis based on why I recommended the stock and some of the fundamentals. So if you wanna see that, make sure you check out that particular video. Here, I'll kind of be focusing a little more on when to sell the stock. And before I do that, Go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell to be notified of when I post something new. And so as you can see from the title, Chris Sane was right about this one. He's probably the channel that I first heard about Golden Nugget from. And so I just wanted to give those kudos there. You know, um, I believe in someone that's someone that believes in giving honor where honor is due. And so that's where I first heard of Golden Nuggets. And so I didn't recommend it on this channel until it was trading below twelve dollars, and the reason, and the reason for that is, yeah, even though I knew it was a great stock, it was just trading too high at the particular time. But at twelve dollars a share, I did believe Golden Nugget was a good buy. Like I always say, even a good stock, there's a bad time to buy it. And when Golden Nugget was twenty dollars, twenty five dollars, it was indeed a bad time to buy this company. But at $12 a share, it was a great time. As you can see from this chart right here, Golden Nugget in the last week is up 45%. And this morning alone, I believe in the day 47%, and it's went as up as above, I wanna say 50 something percent. And so if you bought Golden Nugget at $12 where I recommended or under $12 that I recommended, this may be a good time to sell, depending on what you're trying to do with the stock. And so I'm gonna read an article from Market Watch really quickly, and this will give you an idea why Golden Nugget is trading exactly where it is right now. And it says, DraftKing to acquire Golden Nugget Online Gaming in an all-stock deal valued at $1.5 billion. DraftKing said Monday that it has entered an agreement to acquire Golden Nuggets. The acquisition will enable DraftKings to leverage Golden Nuggets' well-known brand, iGaming product experience, and existing combined data for more than 5 million customers. The sports betting company said in a statement, as a part of the deal, DraftKings has entered a commercial agreement with Something Entertainment, the parent company of Houston Rockets, Golden Nuggets LLC, and Landry LLC, and a leader in the gaming, restaurant, hospitality, and sports entertainment industry. The company said in a statement, DraftKit is expecting the deal to generate 300 million in synergies at maturity. Under the terms of the deal, Golden Nugget shares shareholders, which I am one of, for a disclaimer, and as all YouTubers say as the disclaimer, one, make sure you do your own research about any stock to purchase, and two, this video is just for entertainment purposes only. All right, and so let's continue. So if you're holding Golden Nugget, if you purchase it at under $12, like I recommended, you will be getting 0.365 of DraftKings shares per each shares of Golden Nugget. And like I said on this channel previously, I do believe heavily in the iGaming sector. And so we see DraftKings is trying to get a bigger piece of the iGaming pie here. And I think DraftKings is another great company to buy in. Like again, I said, go check out the other video that I did, with, which talks a little more about specifically why I believe in the iGaming sector, why I believed Golden Nugget at the time was a good buy. But DraftKings is also a very good company and it's amazing that they're trying to carve out their own piece of the iGaming sector. That just makes it a much more formidable company and something that I do believe that the stock will benefit greatly from in the future. We don't know what would happen in the short term, and this is why I'm even having a conversation about selling golden nuggets and not just having my money roll over to DraftKings. And so the deal is expected to close in the first quarter of 2022. Golden Nugget shares soared 29% pre-market 
while DraftKings was down 2.7%. Now, the question many of you may be asking yourself, Maybe you bought Golden Nugget at a high. Maybe you bought it where I recommended at $12. When should you sell the stock? Now, I would say if you are someone that when the stock market just took the little tank that it did and you were panicking a little, nothing wrong with that. But if you're someone that was panicking a little, thinking, oh, I can't believe that I picked up this stock at this price. I can't believe it's down 20, 30%. Then you're probably someone that should be setting a stop limits, so set a stop loss when even now, let's say even now or after Golden Nugget goes above $20. Because I do believe that Golden Nugget will probably run a little more. I think it will take a similar turn like we saw with Tilray, if you were following that, when they were merging with Afria. And so I think we'll see a similar type of run, not a huge run like that, but it's already up 50%. And so if you're someone that knows that you're not planning to leave your money in DraftKings for five years, 10 years, then it may make sense to take the money and run it when, you know, um, at a particular height. So maybe now you said that stop loss. But if you're someone who plans to hold the stock for five years, have a history of holding stocks for five years, then you can probably let your money transition over to DraftKings. Now, like I said, I do like DraftKings as a stock, but I probably will sell out of Golden Nuggets before the merger is completed finished. Now, I am up about 50 something percent on my Golden Nugget shares. And so I would like to see that hit 100%. And after it hits 100%, I will probably set a stop loss for myself. That's my particular strategy because I do want to sell out of this position, even though I believed in Golden Nugget as a company that could have 10x my money. And even DraftKings, I think, is a company that could easily 2x or 5x your, your money. But I'll probably set a stop loss after before the merger is completed. And that's one way to play. Like, again, if you wanted to hold it for 5, 10 years, sure, go ahead, hold it. But people have a tendency to say that they are a long-term investor and have no history of long-term investment. And so those are the same people that will be complaining when the stock tanks again and say, oh, you know, somebody should have not recommended this stock to me. And so that's one way to play this. Now, I do plan to pick up DraftKings eventually, but I will pick, probably pick up a add maybe 50 shares, maybe 25 shares, maybe 100 shares after storing up my money in other places, like I always mention in this channel. One of my favorite best investments is Vanguard S&P 500 and QQQ. And so that's where I usually let my money sit on the sideline before I make a huge purchase. And so maybe I will wait for DraftKings to drop back down to $25 a share. Maybe that happens in two years when people start panicking again. But I do believe that DraftKings is a good long-term bet, but I do believe that I'll get more bang for my buck based on this run that Golden Nugget is about to have. All right, I hope you found this video to be informative. Again, feel free to go check out this other video that I did that talks through exactly why I recommended Golden Nugget on this channel, why I believe in the iGaming sector, and why I think DraftKings is absolutely going to be a monster after purchasing golden nugget but like i always said go ahead and smash the like button subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to be notified of when i post something new and again kudos to you chris saying for making this recommendation because like i said i do believe your channel was the first one that i saw this stock on and so keep doing what y'all doing god bless you and remember to live your best life